Hi guys, it's Michelle. I'm supposed to have the drawing tonight at seven. I'm having technical difficulties. I will be having the drawing tomorrow at seven. Uh, that's Friday the 6th at seven. Sorry about that. Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I'm trying to get you all settled here. No, I'm not. I'm always crooked. I, <laughs> I'm gonna try an experiment tonight. Um, this is the um, Artist Loft Glow White in, um, it's the 2021. Um, and I mixed it two to one with Floetrol. And then I added two ounces of water. So I'm gonna see if this works for a Dutch pour. And you know how I do with my Dutch pours. Also, the other, because <laughs> I can't just do one experiment at a time, I have some um, drips from my table, from my um, cloud pours. Oh, jeez, look at this. You know, <laughs> sorry, guy, sorry, dude. Um, so I'm gonna use a split base, and look what I got today. A new hair dryer. It's an Infinity Pro by Con Air, and I got it at Ulta. It was like $23. And it comes with a bonus blowout brush, which we're not going to be using today. But number one selling dryer. Um, but I did not buy this for my hair. But it does have three settings. It has cool, warm, and hot. And it also has a, a cool shot button. So, um, and it seems to be, like this is, that's low. So I'm thinking the low will probably be good. Now these colors are all leftover, geez Louise, leftover colors. Um, I believe this is Artist Loft uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue, Hebio, uh, Iridescent Blue Red, Red Blue, Red Blue. <laughs> I think this is um, Golden Permanent Violet Dark, Amsterdam, permanent violet red and we have golden in um, that is 24 karat gold so you know how I don't do well on these so I'm going to pour my wipe down first now I watched a couple of Canela's um, videos and she thought the thicker paint for the um, the newer brand of um, artist loft white would be best this is it's kind of dirty but it's kind of not I mean it came up I just didn't do a really good job <laughs> so I'm just spreading this around I'm gonna go in a diagonal I got lots too much paint again because that's my ammo and it looks like I've got enough paint here to blow and get some reactions over there and then this is my drips pretty color and they're about the same consistency I think this might be a little bit thinner um, I'm just gonna take this and got plenty of paint there too did I tell you I'm not really good at Dutch first oh my gosh I happen to go back and look at my very first video ever because I wanted to see when my anniversary date was and it's October 2nd. It'll be two years. My first, first video was a Dutch pour. <laughs> I don't know how, but it was a Dutch pour. I don't know. So anyhow, <laughs> I just had to give you that little tidbit of information. Now let me torch this real quick. I have no idea if this is going to work. You know, but, you know, the whole thing about the creative process is thinking about what if, what if I did this, what if I did that, you know, and that's how you come up with um, different, um, different things that work for you. Okay, I'm going to put down, I'm actually going to. And 
then it is actually I'm getting a reaction on both sides. And I think I'm just gonna put some of this down too. This is a little bit of Payne's Gray. And, whoops, Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue. So these paints are the paints I use for my um, for my um, cloud pours. So there's nothing really special in there. Okay, so let, I'm not going to blow it over. I'm just going to blow it straight out. Let me torch this first. Oh, I'm getting cells already. wasn't a horrible blow. There was a way too much paint down here. Um, I'm liking it. Let me just torch it. It's a little muddy up here. I might be able to blow that out a bit. Oh wow, there's some really cool cells coming up. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. Let me just. Well, it's better than what I've been doing. I'm still not happy with all this. Don't know if I can blow it again though. You know, let me turn this around and blow right here. better. can't believe the very first pour I did on YouTube was a Dutch pour. And I've been struggling ever since. I'm not hating this. I'm not hating it. I don't like this. I don't know if I can blow it more. Hmm. It, they are table trips. But I'm not getting the, the white cells that um, Canela was talking about. Up here, I didn't get too many white cells, so I guess adding a little bit of water with the two to one ratio, which I followed her video for, um, I am going to add. Oh, what am I going to do here? Is this, oh, it is. This is a pearlescent. It's a little bit. over top of that. No, I'll probably put more colors. I may 
have a successful Dutch pour in my hands here. Oh my gosh. There's some really cool cells. two or three times until they all come up. That's better. Mm -hmm. Not bad. For an experiment. Yeah, I, there's not an overabundance of white cells. But we'll see if they bloom. Because <laughs> I don't know if that's what happened to Canela. But I'm even liking all of this in here. Alright. So that's one painting tonight. It's too quick. <laughs> it truly is. Stop messing with it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I'm glad I put this in here. Yeah. Could have put some darker colors down there too. It's a little muddy up here. It's not too bad. I'm not crying. So it's an experiment. And it's on a practice canvas, so that's all good. Alright. I'm going to take you guys down for a close-up in just a moment. All right, guys. So here is my Dutch pour. And I am going to do another one, but I'm going to use the cloud mix only with my colors. So I really do like the softness up here. I'm glad I blew this up a little bit. Um, not too many white cells. There's some right there, but I really like the lacing. And look at those colors with that gold. And there's that blue, red, red, blue, whatever you want to call it. So it's a good way to use, use up your um, table drips too, because I've I've gotten really good results with lacing with my table drips. And I'm, this is my favorite part right here. It's so colorful. Yeah, so Michelle does a Dutch pour. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be right back. Here comes my friend. All right, experiment number two. We are going to do a Dutch pour on the um, cloud pour mix. So here I'm putting it down. There's this could be a cell explosion. I'm actually expecting it to be. Um, I think I've seen a couple of videos from Elise Fournier where she used a blow dryer on her cloud pour mix and it was spectacular. So this around. Now I thought I had enough paint. Yeah, I did. It's coming. It's just taking its time. See? Right along the edge there. You can see that. It's coming right off. So we don't want too much paint on it, but then we do want enough so that we can blow these colors out. Two. Same colors. I've added, I'm going to add um, some TLP you got it, pinwheel. And I might add this copper, but I'm not sure. I um, don't know if I want to mix the copper with the gold. 
So this time I'm not gonna do um, lines, I don't think. No, I'm gonna do like a puddle. get a lot of those white cells which I don't mind I kind of like them um, yeah this is kind of cool I'm liking this hair dryer see it wasn't me it was the hair dryer all along <laughs> yeah I'd like to think so oh my wow that's pretty I like how the gold came out like that. Oh, I'm missing some light right here. Oh guys, I really like this. Yeah, I really, really like this. I'm gonna get some cells there just from blowing it like that. <clears throat> yep. Me likey. I'm not gonna tilt it. I'm just gonna let it be because I really like it. Wow. So, Dutch pour Ella Cloud <laughs> or Ella Pearl. I am in love. And this is going to grow a little bit, I'm thinking. Wow. You know what? I'm going to put you on time lapse and see if there is going to be some major action happening here. I'll be back. I'm going to put you on, um, I'm not going to fiddle with this at all. I'm going to put you on fast time lapse. want to do these paintings for the rest of my life. Oh, I love the softness of it. I've realized that you can use a lot of dark colors and probably a lot of metallics in here because those will not sell as much. And um, after looking at this, it looks like I need to have some paints in there that don't sell as much. But um, yeah, I'm loving, loving, loving this. So I'm going to do a big one now, a 24 by 24 uh, repour, and I can't wait. I can't wait to do it. Um, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ciao for now.